The history of Jones Heritage Realtors started way back in 1905. My grandfather started it. He did that up until 1946 when my father took over for him. And then in 1985, I took over for my father. When I first got into real estate, it seemed like I seemed to join every organization. Some of the ones that I'm really involved with now are Community Health of Southeast Kansas. I'm on their board of directors. The Pittsburgh Area Chamber of Commerce board of directors. And then uh, Crawford County Mental Health. I'm on their board. I get involved with things that I feel are passionate and, and work well for the city of Pittsburgh. We have three brokers. Chuck Hosman is one of the other brokers. Commercial is one of his things that he does extremely well. In fact, I think he does that better than anybody else in Pittsburgh. The other broker would be Monica Angelis. She has 10 years of experience. She's a top producing agent. She's also bilingual and is licensed both in Kansas and Missouri. Larry D'Amico has years of experience and does lots of investment property and also residential real estate. Steve Kuplin specializes in farms and agricultural land along with residential real estate. Joe Manns is one of three agents in our office that is licensed in both Kansas and Missouri. He is an active community member and provides excellent service for his clients. Blake Birdsong, he's just getting into it, but he has a lot of enthusiasm. And, and in fact, we're working with a couple of deals on his right now, so it'll be his first sales coming up. I'm Brian Jones with Jones Heritage Real Tours. And if you're coming to work with us, we'll do our best to try to help you achieve your goals which whether that's buying or selling, to walk away with a successful closing. How did Renew Medical and Spa come to be? It was a vision I had when I lived in New Mexico, which is where I met my husband. He lived in Pittsburgh, Kansas, or was from Pittsburgh, Kansas. And we decided to move back here. I decided to open my own practice. So that was four and a half years ago and we started with an office of uh, five people and myself and then we grew to now uh, 11 employees and myself and now we're opening a brand new medical office and a spa. I have four satellite offices that I see other patients at and that brings a lot of people to the Pittsburgh community. I love servicing dermatology patients. I think there's such a need in this area of the country and, and all over but I think we get a lot of sun exposure I love doing procedures. We've added different lasers to my office staff and services that we offer. In my new office, we're going to be opening a spa, so we'll have more services that we can provide to uh, more of a relaxation, uh, reflexology, massage therapy, Reiki, uh, and, and a lot of different services. In my office, there are a few things that we like to highlight. I do all medical and cosmetic dermatology, so my medical practice is significant. I've got um, one full-time nurse practitioner and I'll be hiring a new one when we enter the new office, so I'll have two full-time nurse practitioners to expand and see more patients. We will uh, be offering um, invasive and non-invasive body contouring with Alma lasers. The other thing that I'm excited to announce is I'm part of a skincare line with a company out of Arizona called Traceuticals. It's a three-step, three-minute-a-day line that you'll wash with, moisturize, and then you'll have a retinol um, to help with pigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, and just kind of overall skin wellness. So that is another thing that we'll be offering in, when the new office opens. In Pittsburgh, there are not a lot of medical spaces, and so I've been blessed with having two spaces that I've been able to go back and forth with. But as our practice has grown, we've needed more space, and it's been my dream for three years to own my own office. I'm very honored and humbled to be nominated for the Pittsburgh Small Business of the Year. I'm very, very excited to be, uh, to be included. So thank you very much to the Pittsburgh uh, Chamber. They offer a lot of good things to the um, Airy community, um, services to other people and the organizations, and they really have stepped up during this COVID-19 doing the t-shirts and other giveaways and other promotions of small local businesses. So kudos to them. They've done a great job. All right, so our dream at Race Chiropractic is to be the first choice of healthcare. Um, you know, we have a lot of patients anymore that come into us and you know, they're tired of going to another doctor where they just get a bottle of pills 
and you know they don't get any answers for their solution. We want people to know that they can come to us and you know we have a solution for their problem and you know we're doing that naturally with chiropractic care and we're using nothing but our hands to treat these patients and you know for that you know for us I mean there's there is nothing better than that. You know our dream one of these days is to really kind of take over southeast Kansas you know obviously you can't do that with just one clinic which you know now we have this new big office with, which is amazing you know but we want to have several offices you know hopefully you know 20 30 offices in the next you know five to ten years one of the great things that we can do with growing our practice as well is to continue to help our community um, we have been very present in this community since we have moved here um, we're part of a national movement called the give back movement what is important for people to know is every new patient that walks into our office, the fee that they pay gets donated back to the community. In the last five years, we've given over $30,000 back to the community, helping various causes and also seeing patients improve. We literally have the best jobs in the world. We feel like our practice is not just a place to work, we feel like it's a family. It's a family for our staff, it's a family for all of our doctors, it's a family for all of our patients. So as we continue to grow our clinics, we just imagine our family growing the same way it does in our own home. Um, we are up to four doctors total at this point in time, which is an amazing thing. They're awesome and do so well with our patients. We are so excited to be in our new clinic. Um, I'm sure everybody knows that we uh, purchased the old gas station on 4th and the Bypass. So in this clinic, we're hoping to host a whole bunch of new doctors and kind of use it as a training ground so we can prepare them for their future career in our other clinics. So right now I'm working under Dr. Kayla since I will be graduating next month and then getting my doctorate. So I'm seeing patients, doing all the new patient exams, things like that. Um, treating like a normal doctor, kind of how a MD does a residency, it's like that called a preceptorship. So one of the biggest reasons for moving back to Southeast Kansas is number one, I'm from here, I have a lot of family here. And number two, um, it's a great community to raise children. And you know, now, um, five years later into our marriage, we have three young kids. Um, they all go to a local school here and you know that was something easy for us to do and trying to decide where to go when we graduated from school you know and Pittsburgh has been awesome I mean the community is great um, there is so much the community does to pull everybody together you know and we've you know like we have mentioned before we've been able to really give back to our community um, because I mean we can't do what we're doing now without um, obviously our patients and the community that we live in And I'm Mike Dulahary, and we're Wood Dulahary Insurance. We're very honored to be nominated for the Chamber Small Business of the Year Award. Uh, it's a testament to our employees, the companies that we work with. One of the great things that we liked about uh, opening a business in, in Pittsburgh, uh, we found out real quickly how awesome the, the people were and how much they accepted us as a new business in town. So it's been a great experience for our company. It's, it's important to us to know that all of our customers are treated the same and with the care that they deserve. In the setup of our company, what we're able to do is, is work for our customers first and foremost and second, the, the company that we represent. Um, I was really amazed at how much the community came together these past few months. Um, everyone trying to help each other, the people without jobs coming together and trying to make it better for everyone. Um, it was just really inspiring. Well, I like the Pittsburgh community. Um, it seems like everybody takes a lot of pride in their residences, their businesses. Everything is always seemed to be kept up, taken care of, um, has a small hometown feel. I enjoy living in the community in which I'm working and working in the community in which I'm living. Well, Bob and Mike are great people, first and foremost. They care about the family, you know, always interested in what's going on with us. I like the customers. They become friends after so many years and I'm interested in what's going on with them. The customer service, I feel like we are strong in customer service. Um, our customers are our main priority here and we will um, do what we um, have to to get them the best rates, um, anything like that. Family atmosphere, everybody works together as a team and helps one another out. Uh, 
um, what, what I feel sets us apart, um, it c kind of comes from the top down to the bottom. Between Bob Wood and my father, Mike Dulahari, they've really shown how much they care and how passionate they are for their customers and for this business. And I think that's trickled down from them all the way down to all of us. And I think that's really what sets us apart. Honestly, Bob and Mike probably set Wood Dulahari apart. They won't tell you that, and they're too humble to tell you that but they really do live it. They don't just say it. Um, they do a lot of things behind the scenes. Um, we had some different things with this whole COVID stuff going on. We've done several things where we've given back to restaurants and different things in the community. Bob and Mike don't try to do that for commercials always. And uh, a lot of times they don't even try to take care of credit for it. And so uh, all of the employees here at Wood Dealer Harry know that Bob and Mike are, they talk the talk, but then they walk the walk. They don't just do it for the commercial. It's, it's clearly me. Um, it's mainly because uh, I never have a bad hair day and the girls are jealous. That's a tough question. I'm going to have to go with Kim though. I would have to also say Kim. I've been here a short period of time, but um, I think Kelly gets made fun of the most. 100% Kim. No comment. COVID-19 has brought about a lot of changes in the workplace. I think you'll all recognize this next part. I ran over a little green lizard on my way to work today. I wonder if that white duck can get her many money. How many calls about mayhem today? So far we've had eight today. What's this conference call at three o'clock with Flo for? She is calling to teach us how to bundle home and auto. Daniel, what are you wearing? Uh, khakis? Emily, come show me how to turn this dang thing on. Let's restart it. <laughs>